Good morning to a brand new day. Time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun. Learning is good for everyone. Hello, early learners. Welcome back to the art room. It's me, Mrs. Reed Wright. This week we're talking about the ABCs of art, and we have gone all the way up to letter M, and today is M. Let's start our, with our hello song. Hello, nice to see you, everyone. Hello, nice to see you, everyone. Hello to you, hello to you, hello to you, hello to me. Hello, nice to see you, everyone. All righty, today is letter M. Let's see what the song says M is as we sing it. A, B, C, D, E of art. That's the way that we will start. K is for kitchen, lobster starts with L. M is for mother, we can tell. N is for night, ocean starts with O. Art and the alphabet, here we go. All righty, M. M is for mother. This mother sewing by a vase with flowers must have taken Mary Cassatt many hours. Flowers, hours, they both say hours, rhyming words end the same sounds. Now I did bring this one because TK has this print in their art curriculum. It's called Young Mother Sewing. And Mary Cassatt, our artist today, was well known for painting mothers and their children. And it showed mothers closeness to their children in the pictures doing ordinary things. A mama giving a baby a bath, a mama sewing for her child, but also she painted pictures of women together. And in this one, it's called the tea party. And they, the two women are sitting side by side and here is their silver platter that has the teacup. And that is what we're going to be drawing today. This curved side, curved side and a handle with the beginnings of a flat oval, just like we've been doing with our cylinder shape. And we're going to stack them up like a wild tea party, like an Alice in Wonderland tea party stacked up in a crazy fashion. But look, she's using her pinky and holding it out. People said, if you hold your pinky out, it makes you look refined. I think it just sometimes your fingers don't fit in the hole and it makes your pinky stick out. But Mary Cassatt was our artist and this is when she was older. She painted for a long time and she was really, interested in being an artist. And when she became an artist, her father didn't want her to. He thought it was fine if she wanted to do art at home because ladies who did art at home in those days were considered ladylike. But he didn't want her to sell her art, but she didn't do what her father said. And she met Edgar Degas. And he was saying to her that her art was so beautiful, it had to be out in the world. So he brought her to where he was living and he helped her get into the art world. And she painted her mothers and children and she made a lot of money in her lifetime because her art is really pretty. And it really looks like the people are in it are looking like this little girl is looking straight at us. And it looks like you could just be invited to this tea party. It's so lifelike. And I think that it's kind of fun to have art that looks like something that we can participate in. With the TK classes, they've been doing sewing and sewing on burlap and sewing buttons on things and going to the laundromat because that's where the clothes that she might have made with her sewing. So once we're back in school, we'll take trips and learn about more about sewing. Let me set these things aside and we will get out a long piece of white paper because I thought it would be fun to have it teetering and, and going up. Oh, I do have these right here. I keep trying to remind myself to tell you. 
If you are making art with me and you would like to send a photograph of yourself doing art or having your art, and you could even put it under your chin so I can see your nice face, the studio sends an activity book to children who send their own home address in with their letter. So these could come to your mailbox. I hope you do it. Let me put this up here and get my paper. Once again, I'm going to be using a black permanent pen. Look at this long paper. It, it doesn't even fit on this little table. Let me make it a little straighter. OK, so I'm going to start the first one. And I think I'll make the bottom one. And now remember, it's going to have a curve line, a curve line, a handle, and a little skinny bottom part. I think my first one, I think let's do it together with a pencil, just so that you can see. So I'm going to make the flattened out oval. See it? Oh, it caught, caught under there. See the flattened out oval? I'm kind of near the bottom so I can still put the cut part and the handle off to the side. Don't get too close to the edge. You can put your handle on the other side if yours ran out of room. So I'm going to curve line down, not all the way to the bottom, curve line down. And then you know what I told you about a cylinder. The bottom line is curved also. So I have this little part that sits in the saucer. So I'm going to put a little saucer around the bottom one, which is a little curved line, kind of like we did the table when we did the goldfish. I'm going to turn this toward me so I can see how far I need to make my handle. All it is, for me, is a backward C. Do you see I did a backward C? And then inside, I'll make a concentric one inside there. There's the first one. I really should have made this a little lighter because I need to put the other cup in it. Now this time, I'm going to put the cup in and have the handle up here. So I'm going to make it tipped over a little bit, not too far, because then I can't put the next one in. An oval, a cup side, a cup that goes into this one. I'll do the bottom. Go down, down, and over. Now you see where it overlaps. I will put my eraser in there and get rid of that line and get rid of that line. That's how I want to keep my pieces being able to fit inside one another. Now this one, I'm going to put the teacup handle here. This one's a forward letter C because it's on this side of the paper. And I'll go around here like this. Now I'll put another cup, but I'm going to have it tipped this way a little bit. So here's my oval. I'm going down to a curve into the cup, a curve into the cup. Make it go down, have its little foot. Curve on the bottom, curve. I'm going to erase anything that goes inside that cup because I don't want it to show. And I'll put the handle on this side. I'm going to st stack them up going up here but not right this minute, because I want to show you how I'm going to color it. I'm still getting those little lines out. Oh, I don't really like how that went. I think I'm going to make it go down a little bit more. I think I made it too skinny. Yeah, that's much better. I like that much better. No problem. Didn't get frustrated because I knew I could fix it, because I'm just using a pencil to start out. Now, had I used my permanent pen, I would just have to color over it. I wouldn't get upset, because art is not a time for getting upset. Art is a time for just trying your best. And I just end up liking everything I do because it's so fun. So it doesn't have to be perfect. There we go. Now I'm going to outline all of these with my black pen. And then I'm going to add decorations to each. So around on the line. I think this ends up kind of being Hunterwassen like because I'm going to make a lot of colorful parts to it. Make my handle around. And around here, I'm going to make a stripe. And I'm going to make this one have geometric shapes on it. The next one, I think I'll do flowers on it. And maybe I'll put some, a row of polka dots underneath. I'm not doing anything inside the cup part. I'm just doing this. So around. And down the side and the other side. I'll make the curve. 
down, down, and curve line. I'll make the handle, the front ways facing C, around the oval, curve line down, curve line down, little foot curve here. Oh, I see I didn't do a very good job drawing that one, so I'm going to erase those marks so when I paint it, they won't be on there. If you don't have an eraser, just leave them there. No one will look at it because they'll say, oh, aren't those teacups beautiful? They won't care about if you have some lines that are showing because people are nice about um, looking at artwork. Here we go. I think my handle might be up too high. I'm going to fix that too, boys and girls. The reason that I don't want you to worry about your art, and that's why I want you to see how I am not getting upset that mine isn't looking how I wanted it, because I can just fix it. That's the nice thing about art. Because in uh, my art room, when people go, I made a mistake, I need a new piece of paper, it, I hardly ever let children get a new piece of paper, because we can fix anything. OK, on this one, I'm going to put a flower and a leaf and a flower. Oh, it's going off the edge, so I just let it go that way. And a leaf and a flower. And I'm going to put dot, 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 dot. And I'm going to make a curve line. And maybe I'll do something there. I don't know what. And on this one, I think I'm going to make polka dots. And maybe I'll make some clouds. Maybe I'll make a line for the color. There, I'm ready to paint. Or use pastels, or use colored pencils. You decide. I'm today going to do a little painting with this paint. Oh, I still have milky water. Hope it doesn't make it too white. Maybe I'll use this great one. Might be too wet. Let me get a piece of paper towel and put it here. Let this guy dry out a little bit. I'll get a different brush, a tiny bit of water, and I think I will put red here. Boys and girls, I can see that the time is starting to get away from us, so I want to tell you what to bring tomorrow for letter N. N is for night, and we're going to be talking about Georgia O'Keeffe, and I need you to bring white paper, a white crayon, and any coloring tools. I'm doing my night navy blue, so I'm bringing blue paint or blue crayons or pens. So I'm going to finish up painting this and bring it back and show you. So let's say our goodbye song, and I'll keep painting while we sing. Goodbye, see you next time, everyone. Goodbye, see you next time, everyone. Goodbye to you, goodbye to you, goodbye to me. Yeah, goodbye to me. Goodbye, see you next time, everyone. Do you notice I'm just going in here and getting all the places, and I'm going very slowly. Boys and girls, I will see you tomorrow. Thank you for joining me today. Bye-bye. A brand new day, time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun, learning is good for everyone.